Let's turn to uh, ETFs, if you don't mind, and, and limit this to uh, Bitcoin ETFs. And I understand all the constraints that you're under on this, but the, but the commission has approved a futures-based uh, Bitcoin ETF. And uh, there's discussion about uh, a spot ETF. And for, for a period of time, um, probably continuing, the concern about uh, surveillance, and a lot of this conference is around surveillance, surveillance in the spot market um, was at the forefront of people's minds at the SEC. Um, maybe, maybe just comment on that. Do I have the characterization correct uh, about where we stand and uh, where we may be going here? Well, I, I, you, you know better than anyone in that audience as a chair of a five-member commission uh, we're advised by uh, counsel not to comment on pending matters before the commission. Um, no, and I'm not asking, it, and I'm not asking you to do that. Yeah, no, Let's no, no but I, I just wanted to uh, say that, and, and you appreciate that. But I think it goes back to the conversation we we're just having in the last five, ten minutes. That this is a market, worldwide market. Uh, you you mentioned Bitcoin. That's 40 or 50 percent of the outstanding um, uh, market value of this of this two and a half trillion dollar market. But but the trading around the globe uh, is not inside the U.S. regulatory mm -hmm. uh, register registered. Um, uh, our our sibling agency, the uh, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, has some anti fraud. Uh, 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 authorities, but on, on Bitcoin, as you just mentioned. But the overall, these platforms need to come in, get registered, come within uh, the investor protection remit, ensure for the appropriate anti manipulation, assure for the appropriate transparencies, uh, deal with the custody issues and the like. I mean, they, they, they know what the list is. We kind of know what the list are. You did as well. I have a question back for you. Why do you think in 2018, 2019 that you weren't, I mean, I'm learning here, but weren't more successful to get this, this Wild West? And yes, it was a Wild West back then too, my friend, mm -hmm. uh, to uh, register these platforms. Well, let's, let's look at just a couple characteristics. Um, traditional trading has usually gravitated toward a single venue. And we don't see as much of that in what I would say is the digital asset space. Um, you know, even, even in the commodity space, uh, physicals move around the globe and the like, but, but trading has generally, you know, centralized it, whether it's the London Metals Exchange or others. And again, you know this better than I do from your, from your commodity days, but here in digital assets, it's very dispersed globally, um, which makes a single regulatory net um, much more of a challenge. 